Hello friends, last time we have seen sampling theorem for bandpass signals. At that time, I have taken a, a signal like this, but this is somewhat different. I have taken different band of frequencies here. Okay, that case one was, uh, we were checking two conditions. That first condition was we were finding center, center frequency for the bandpass signal and we were checking that it is uh, greater than the bandwidth by 2 frequency okay and second condition was we are checking the relationship between the higher frequency and the bandwidth we are checking that higher frequency was uh, integer multiple of the bandwidth now in this video this is the case 2 where I have taken a signal whose higher frequency is not an integer multiple of the bandwidth you can check here bandwidth is 1 kilohertz and higher frequency is 2.5 kilohertz. So it is obviously not the integer multiple of the bandwidth. Okay. So last time we were sampling by a frequency, sampling frequency, which was double of the bandwidth. Okay. So we will check now in this video that if we sample the signal by the same frequency that is double of the bandwidth. So it is 2 kilohertz in this case also. So we'll sample the signal by 2 kilohertz and check what will happen here, okay? So this is for omega s is equal to 2 kilohertz. So this is sample origin of the signal. So first I'll draw the axis for correct graph. Okay, I'll draw the version of this spectrum, this is standing for 1.5, this is a suppressed version, I'm not drawing this factor, 1 upon TS factor, so this is 1 upon TS, okay, so this is the original version, X of omega, now I'll shift this by the sampling frequency x of omega minus omega s okay x of omega plus omega is shifted on this side okay. so x of omega minus omega is first will draw so x of omega minus omega is shifted by 2 kilohertz on this side okay so 1 2 this is one part now this one and this so, this blue is x of omega minus omega s with the omega s is equal to 2 kilohertz. Now, I will draw x of omega plus omega s for n is equal to minus 1. So, this shifted on this side by 2, 1, 2. So, this is like this. And this shifted on this side so 1 and 2 so it is overlapping here it is overlapping so you can see here this x of omega plus omega s okay so when you go to draw uh, draw x of omega minus 2 omega s okay at that time this will be shifted here and this is again overlapping with the original spectrum so this is complete aliasing and it is not uh, it is not required uh, that this happen here okay so we don't want to happen this mixing of the spectrum original spectrum and the images so everywhere you will observe like this mixing is happening okay so we cannot uh, sample this signal with the double of the bandwidth okay so because of that, we need to do something else, okay? So that will help us in this case because somehow we can utilize this gap, okay? Somehow we have to utilize this gap so that we can go for sampling with uh, sampling frequency which is less than 5 kilohertz. So that will be beneficial for us. 
So there is a formula. So we have to calculate a number. This is equal to k. So we are actually calculating the ratio of omega h to the bandwidth. Okay. It is not an integer. So we are making it an integer. So we are rounding it to the lowest value. Lowest integer value. So here it is 2.5. We are rounding it. So it is 2. So we are getting a number which is 2. Okay. So we will find omega s. So we have a formula for it. Omega s is equal to 2 into the higher frequency divided by the number k. Okay. So here it is 2 into 2.5 kilohertz divided by 2. So it is 2.5 kilohertz we are getting. So sampling frequency in this case is 2.5 kilohertz. But let's, let us check that aliasing is occurring or not like the previous case. So we will draw the axis and sample it with 2.5 kilohertz. So if this is sampled version of the signal x del of omega. Let us draw and check. This axis is in kilohertz. Okay. 0, 1, 2, 3. So I'll draw the original one, which is from 1.5 to 2.5. So minus 1.5 to minus 2.5. This is again compressed version by a factor 1 upon Ts. Okay. Now we have to shift it by 2.5 kilohertz. X of omega minus omega s. So this is X of omega, original version. Now we need to shifted by 2.5 kilohertz so i will go by this way shift it on this side so this point will be go to will be going to 1 2 2.5 so it is shifted like this now this point again will go on this direction 1 2 2.5 okay so this i'll name x of omega minus omega s with omega s is equal to 2.5 kilohertz. Now we will draw x of omega plus omega s. On this side this 1 2 2.5. So this is like this. And this 0 0.5 1.5 and this 2.5. Okay, so by this it is clear, I'll name it x of omega plus omega s. So from this it is clear that these images are not clashing with each other, these are not mixing, so aliasing is not happening here. So we can reconstruct the signal from using a bandpass, sign bandpass filter and we can draw the other images also. I'm not drawing it uh, with just drawing it with just some get random gas so it, it will be like this so we will be getting the images like this so this is a complete uh, complete vision of what, what what we can obtain by drawing all these shifted versions x of omega minus 2 omega s 3 omega s and so on and this direction x of omega plus 2 omega s 3 omega s and so on so the spectrum will go like this and we are observing here that these are not mixing with each other so aliasing is not occurring so we can go with this formula and sample with a sampling frequency which is equal to 2.5 kilohertz okay so here our main motive was to find the sampling frequency when the high frequency is not multiple integer multiple of the bandwidth. So we have to find the number k okay, where it is not integer multiple. So we have to round it off to some lowest integer and then take this number and find out the sampling frequency by this formula. 
टू इंटू हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी बाई के ओके सो हियर वी आर सक्सेसफुली सैम्पलिंग विथ लोएस्ट सैम्पलिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी विच इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव किलो हर्ट्स विच इज वेरी मच लो कंपेयर टू द रेग्युलर सैम्पलिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी फॉर दिस सिग्नल विच विल बी फाइव किलो हर्ट्स ओके आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस विथ दिस वी हैव कवर्ड दिस केस टू ऑल्सो थैंक यू